Hey, so I've had an obsession with watching YouTube videos about scams for like the past year or so. I binge that shit. It's like caffeine. I think it's the fact that other people make worse decisions than I do sometimes, which makes me feel good about myself. We need to talk about black scammers. Now, I've been watching content about multi-level marketing companies for years now. I sat through Betting on Zero, Lula Rich, John Oliver's piece on Last Week Tonight, and hundreds of anti-MLM videos on YouTube. There's one aspect of the scam economy that all of these missed, though. This. So I got a story to tell y'all. I went to Georgia Tech from 08 to 2012. I know, I'm old. Let's move past it. I was pretty popular on campus, right? So I knew this party promoter who invited me to a dorm party. He told me there was gonna be pizza and women there. So naturally, my answer was yes. Now this party was already strange because it started on time at 8.30, which is not normal for any party, right? We usually show up at like 11.30 and it's just now popping off. I walk in and immediately everything looks wrong. There's chairs everywhere, like 35 of them. They got a microphone and a bunch of cans of this drink I've never seen before from this brand called Vima Verve. Plus has 20 milligrams of plant source silica. Plant source silica. So I saw one of the football players I knew from campus setting up chairs, so he looked like he knew what was going on. I asked him, the hell is this? He was like, don't sweat it. We'll talk for a few minutes and then we can get to party and everything gonna be cool. I've been working in advertising for like 10 years and I know a sales pitch when I see one. So I planned on dipping the fuck out pretty early, but first, pizza. So my homie, the party promoter I told y'all about, steps up to the mic. Thanks us for coming out tells us how dope Vima Verve is and how it's creating opportunities for us, us being the minorities in the room, paying student loan debt down. And the crux of the pitch was you can sell these cans, uh, these energy drinks to people on campus, friends, family, et cetera. And eventually you're gonna build up to the point where you have your own independent business and you making money. And since he was so well known on campus, you could see in the room that some people were like kind of convinced that, oh, this could be a viable side hustle type of deal. The whole time I was just eyeing that pizza, like I want pizza and then I can go home. Now I'm far from the first black creator to talk about MLMs on YouTube. There's a lot of dope videos by a lot of dope creatives that have talked about the damage these companies do to our communities. But for the most part, they've been focused on the big ones, Amway, Avon, all that type of shit. The shit y'all grandma sold, y'all auntie was trying to sell at church. But I might be the first musician to talk about it. So I'm gonna analyze this through the lens of somebody who knows what it's like to desperately chase a dream. Every hustle needs a target market. Music, software, financial products, apparel. Now, a multi-level marketing company is a pyramid scheme, cosplaying as a legitimate business via products and services that we'll collectively refer to as bullshit moving forward. This bullshit can be energy drinks, it can be diet, workout plans, uh, lifestyle coaching, all these types of iffy areas where you can't say that the product didn't work because, you know, Maybe you didn't take it right, or maybe you didn't mix the drink at the right time of day, whatever the fuck. What MLM companies do is recruit independent salespeople like you and me, not me, because I've never done that shit, to sell these products and services so they can get a percentage of every single thing we sell, AKA a pyramid scheme. How do they sell it? They try to convince people that they need it to improve their lives in some way. You need to trade in foreign exchange markets to improve your financial future. You need a diet shake and this workout plan so you could be a bad bitch like me. And this part is most important. You need to get it from me because nobody else knows what I know. Now I'm only gonna touch on this next point briefly because I want to talk about it in another video, but amateur musicians like I used to be can be desperate. A lot of us will do anything to get noticed, get some exposure for our work, and hopefully build a career from that foundation. Now, I may not have fallen for an MLM scam myself, but that doesn't mean I didn't get roped into a lot of shady exposure plays in my time. I call this next part the victim equation. A lack of resources, 
plus an overwhelming perceived need minus exposure to the scam equals a target. If you ain't got shit and you feel like you really, really need shit to succeed in life and you've never been exposed to how these scams work before, you're not going to realize it until you ain't too deep. In Betting on Zero, the documentary I mentioned earlier, Bill Ackman, who produced it, alleged that minorities and low-income communities are disproportionately targeted by companies like Herbalife. Bet, so let's see how Black-owned MLMs weaponize culture and empowerment to do the same damn thing to their own people. I'm gonna focus in on three Black-owned MLMs I just found when I was researching this video. Talk about how to notice a scam quick and roast them motherfuckers. First up, see Scrubs with Love. Meet Lydia Covington, pulling up in the Rolls Royce, looking like Rick Ross, former CNA, high school dropout, and she talks about helping others create generational wealth. Her hustle is medical scrubs, as in she sells them, and she wants you to make millions of dollars selling them too. Have you ever thought about selling scrubs? Yes, scrubs. Scrubs. This shit is a mess. From the promo to the fact that she expects random people to be able to sell medical scrubs as a full-time business to the fact that she charges $625 for a startup package that's supposed to earn you $2,500 in revenue because that package does not come with inventory. So that's going to significantly cut into your profits. They misspelled representative at the top of the page. They offer web development when they can barely put together a website themselves. There's over nine dedicated staff. So how many is it, 10, 27? Fuck is you talking about? They falsely claim that their two biggest packages are sold out to manufacture popularity. And they got a bunch of fake Google reviews that can't be cross-checked. Can't click on these bitches. Next up, top of lifestyle. This is my favorite part, cause y'all get to meet Kenny Lloyd. Oh my God, bruh. Kenny is an MLM vet who the company treats like a prophet. His hustle is sales, namely vitamin and energy products. Teas and energy shakes are the most popular MLM product to sell worldwide. You can see the appeal. They ain't got to prove shit. They can claim it works and it just magically clears up all your ailments and makes you healthy, et cetera, et cetera. Fights old age, cleans up your teeth. It's what made Herbalife and like 50 other MLMs take off in the first place. People will never stop looking for ways to diet, lose weight, change their life, get through their day job, etc. Not only do they treat their founder like God and run their IG like an ATL nightclub, I found where they literally tell us that they're a pyramid scheme. Let me show y'all what I'm talking about. So we looking at the Tava affiliate rewards plan as of November 2023. And as usual, the listing out rewards, you can get lifestyle bonus like a car, daily pay, etc but they've already drawn their first pyramid. They got you on top of two people, left and right leg. We're gonna talk about that later. Affiliate rewards. So this is them re up on that same message. You got levels four through one, feeding percentages upwards. That's the definition of a pyramid scheme. This shit is ridiculous. Binary pay is just their way of saying that you need to enroll and maintain active distributors, left leg and right leg. And they literally drew a motherfucking pyramid. Ranks named after precious stones are always a major red flag. Anytime they're promising you things like a Mercedes, a Porsche, a Tesla, paying your mortgage, paying your tuition, all selling tea, run for the hills, bruh. Income disclosure statement. That's what we came for. This lets you know how much everybody's getting paid in this business. They don't have any numbers here and they claim that because they recently launched, they lacked the data. But if they showed the numbers, they would show the same thing as every other MLM. 99.9% .9 of participants are not making any money. In fact, they're losing money. And last but certainly not least, I Boomerang. This MLM was founded by Holton Bugs. He's a veteran schemer who started out in the coffee MLM Organo Gold and founded I Boomerang in 2019. His hustle? Sales. International vacation packages because why not? Bugs is not an amateur and his company is a well-oiled machine. Not only is the website slick and seamless, the company has numerous things going on behind the scenes that help protect it from scrutiny. Like, check this, multiple streamlined products with legitimate tech. They got an app called iGo that facilitates the travel side of the business 
and the Elevate Trading app. You know, for all that Forex, because one company can be a professional at traveling and Forex at the same time. They got testimonials with video and tech demos. And most importantly, for covering their ass, they got the Boom Foundation front and center all over the website. And it donates to needy children in underserved countries. If there's one thing that's always been tough is criticizing companies that got big ass charitable foundations attached to their name. He knows what he's doing. As you can see in these pictures, he has lavish dinners with his top salespeople, and he calls them CEO dinners. Besides the fact that this dinner is being held in an abandoned warehouse, there's more to what you're seeing than meets the eye. Everybody in that room was early in this organization. When iBoomerang launched back in 2019, they had thousands of people sign up on day one. All those people had an advantage on everybody who came after them who was gonna be in their downline. That means the sellers that sell underneath you that feed you some of their percentage. The earlier you get in these companies, the more you can hustle and get people underneath you and get those percentages flowing up to you. So by the time everybody figures out that it's a pyramid scheme, it's too late, you got paid. There's zero accountability, there's zero regulations, and there's zero checks and balances in these industries. At least the side of the industry that companies like iBoomerang operate on. Reporting live from the edit, I realized I took it a little bit easy on Mr. Bugs. This man's history is ridiculous. And so I figured since his company is so successful, successful, we should take the time to dive into a little bit more detail on exactly what's happening behind the curtain at iBoomerang and all the reasons why you absolutely should not trust this man. Let's start with Holton. He has a trail of failed companies behind him and at least one lawsuit loss from May 2018 for stealing company secrets as part of a now defunct company called Amerisciences. What does Amerisciences do? Nutritional supplements, because it's always supplements. It turns out that the founders of Amerisciences, these two gentlemen over here, bailed on their company when it started going belly up and sold out to Organo Gold via the homie, Holden Bugs. He paid these two $50,000 a month each for nine months in exchange for their full customer list and their warehouse management software, AKA WMS. What the company get? Nothing. I do not have a law degree but to me, that sounds an awful lot like fraud. I'm gonna put all the charges they got found guilty for on the screen right here. Shake, shake, shake. Baby, I like days too. I am not no side bitch. I deliver top show. Girl, you know you like this. Get you satisfaction. Turn you on like switch. Treat me like you're supposed to. Throw some money right quick. Yo, I'm a stay at home hubby. I ain't gotta work if she love me. These sheets, hey, honey, thread, pick them out cause she trusts me. My, my roll got a phone clip, Caesar salad that Rome drip, make deposits, my loans dip, sugar baby, got lucky. I know, right? After all the appeals got denied, this verdict cost them a collective $3.5 million, something like that. Guess what Holton Bugs was doing a few months after that verdict got handed down? My dog was pitching the cryptocurrency Ponzi scheme called Digital Skynet. I cannot make this up. Now, Digital Skynet owned Ormius Global. It's the company that was tied to a cryptocurrency called Ormi, O-R-M-E. I don't know how familiar y'all are with pump and dump schemes, but it's a trading term that refers to a scheme where the salespeople hype a coin up and get the public to buy in in large amounts. And basically when it's at its peak, all the salespeople and the people who bought in early cash out. So it crashes from a high price to a low price and everybody else, the normal people, lose a shit ton of money. This is exactly what happened with the Ormi coin as it dropped from $5 to 17 cents in a matter of months. Holton Bugs life story is actually pretty compelling. And he's a great live speaker by all accounts compared to non-entertainers, which is the reason he became one of the most successful MLM sellers of all time, bringing in $1.5 million a month with Organo Gold a month. He's bounced from MLM to MLM for years now. And unfortunately, a lot of people are easily impressed by live speaking skills and charisma. I ain't forgot our Boomerang's compensation plan either. We're going to get into that right now. It's just as confusing as most MLMs with crazy signing bonuses, complicated pay structures, and wild income projections that don't really match up with reality. But let me know if this looks familiar. Exactly. The same binary pay structure we saw earlier with Tava Lifestyle. 
they still draw in pyramids. This is getting kind of long, so I'm gonna put all the links to the articles I read and the comp plan in the description below the video. Click on that, check it out at your leisure. Back to me. This ain't an anti-MLM channel, so it'll probably be the last time I talk about this topic. So I wanna be really, really clear about this last piece. These schemes damage people's lives, sometimes permanently. In all the research I did for this video, there was families, friends, coworkers, people who trust the person who sold them this dream. And in many cases, it set them back for years, sometimes decades. There's parents that use their children's college fund to invest in these organizations and got completely wiped out. There's friends who no longer talk to each other who got themselves involved in this business. Because once you join, it's like a cult. And once you leave, they don't fuck with you no more. There's elderly people that looked at this as an investment opportunity to pad their retirement. They also got wiped out. I've been working in corporate America for like a decade. And the one thing I've always been proud of is that I work for companies that aren't damaging the world, right? We all gotta have a job, I get that. We all gotta have a hustle, I got multiple. Trapping your own people in a cycle of poverty that they can't escape while selling them a dream of generational wealth, as Lydia would put it, is inherently evil. And it's hard for even me to properly put that into words, but I think I've tried my best in this video. And that's, that's all I got to say. Subscribe if you feel like it. I got a lot more videos to come and most of them will probably be more pleasant than this one was, but I had to get this off my chest. I'll talk to y'all soon.